Yes, yeah, so here I am. I'm on break now. I can make videos, which is awesome. So I don't know how many of you guys saw my last video. Um, it was just like a short little video about what I've been working on and why I hadn't posted a video in a while. Um, but I built a flying wing, my first ever flying wing, and it flew all right. And I used Dollar Tree foam board. It's actually right here. Um, I'll give some more shots of it, but it's this thing. Um, and it actually flew flew fairly decent. Um, the problem was that Dollar Tree foam board doesn't hold up to humidity or weather at all, really. So what happened was the paper started feeling, peeling off the foam, and the wing started to get all soggy, and then it crashed. It, anyway, it just wasn't the best. <laughs> but what, I'm, what I have now is I have chlor Coroplast. Coro, chloro, it's this stuff. Anyway, I have a huge sheet of it because it comes in eight by four foot sheets. And what it is is it's corrugated plastic. So I actually have, wait, let me just. Oh my, okay, so it's this giant sheet. Oh boy, see how big this is? This is like big enough to just like, you know. And so what's nice about Coroplast is it's because it's plastic. Um, it's like corrugated plastic, I'll give you a close-up of it right now. But it's not gonna matter if it gets wet or damp or anything like that, it's fine. So it's not gonna be susceptible to the weather very much. And it's super durable, so I'm excited to build with this stuff. Build another wing, and I might even be trying to build an X-Wing sometime, because I saw Rogue One and Rogue One was pretty pretty lit, so. So I might be trying to build a, um, an X-Wing at some point also. But for now, I'm just gonna try building a wing out of it. Uh, yeah, so let's go. All right, so what I used to calculate my center of gravity is the flying wing CG calculator. I'll have a link to it below. Basically, you just put in like the different dimensions of your wing and um, it'll tell you where your center of gravity should be. Uh, so I'm gonna draw it out on here just to get a better idea of it. And um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. here so I have my the degree of all the uh, angles and then the lengths and everything so now when I go draw this out on the big piece of coroplast um, I'll be able to get it right the first time hopefully and um, I want to put the leading edges of the wing along the edge of the coroplast like um, so that I can fold it over you'll see what I'm doing but um, yeah and you know what I'll, I'll post a picture of this somewhere and I'll put a link to it so if you guys want to want to know more about it, um, exactly the specifications, you guys can do that. But in the meantime, you can pause the video right here. Let's draw a plane. <laughs> okay, so I just got the first piece out, which is this. Um, this stuff's heavy, I didn't realize, like as a big sheet, I was like, oh, it's heavy, but it's not that bad. I'm surprised at how heavy this is, so I hope, I mean, this isn't a very large, this is the dimensions that I have here. This isn't very big compared to my old one. Um, I hope I hope it works. It's super rigid though. It's really strong. So we'll see. We'll see. There we go, <laughs> it's out, look at that. Awesome, dude, that's heavy. <sighs> okay, so what I did last night was I cut out this section right here, which is where my motor's gonna go, so. 
Someone's car alarm just went off. So I can mount the motor in there, it was kind of hard to see. And I like that. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I mount the motor way in the back, um, I'll have too much weight in the rear and it'll have to be super heavy to even out the center of gravity and it'll just be, it'll, it'll be bad. <laughs> so I also cut out another shape that is similar to the front of it. Um, and then I glued it and then I put duct tape all around the edges to hold it in. And so because I cut out all of this stuff in the middle, it was flimsier because um, there's only this part connecting it. So by doubling that up, that is that is very strong now. So I don't have any worries about this. So this is a very rigid wing. Um, so I'm going to work on mounting the motor now and then all the electronics and then I'm going to do the control surfaces. Surprise, I finished all the electronics. Um, I really wanted to get it done before I went camping, and so I didn't film even the electronics because it takes way longer to do when you're filming, but uh, I didn't get a chance to finish it in time. Anyway, this is what I have now. I have like 95% of the electronics done. I have some LEDs that I've added to the bottom. These are nice blue strips um, that I will be adding later, but those are like my last priority right now. Can I see them? Let me turn up the light. Wait. Okay, check this out, ready? My battery isn't fully charged. Well, it looks purple, but it's actually blue. That's gonna be awesome, right? Look at that. So I'm having a bit of a balance problem, which I always seem to have in my planes. Right now, it's too tail heavy. It should be balancing when I put my finger right here, and it doesn't. I have to put my fingers actually a bit farther, more like here. Uh, so I want, this thing weighs like two pounds right now, a little bit over, slightly over two pounds. I, Sorry, we have washing machine out here. I want to balance this thing out um, without adding any weight because most people would just like add weight to the nose, right? To balance it out. But it's already like, this motor puts out about two pounds of thrust and it already weighs about two pounds. So I don't really want to go much heavier than that. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to remove weight from the tail. And you're probably asking, Gavin, how are you going to remove weight from behind there? Ha <laughs> this whole saw, see this thing? Okay. Okay, well that removes some weight, so wait, let me zoom out here. So now I have a hole right there, and one on the other side in the same place. Um, and that took us from 14.35 down to 14.1. So that, that helped. I'm gonna do probably another one right here, another one right here. Um, and we'll see where that gets us to and how much more I need to remove. Okay, so a little bit of napkin math kind of told me that I would have to drill like 30 holes in the back of this thing. I drew, I drilled six. I drilled six um, to get it to balance properly, and that would probably compromise the structure of the wing way too much. So, so I have this little guy I've cut out, and I'm going to be attaching him onto the front of this like this. And what that's going to do is this is a big flying lever, right? Pretty pretty much that's what planes are: is big flying levers with wings. Um, by, uh, by moving the battery and the weight farther out, that's going to give them more leverage and more mechanical advantage. And then I don't have to add as much weight. Um, so it's going to look kind of like this. Um, but in theory, I won't have to add as much weight to keep it balanced. We'll see how that works in practice. Okay, so my camera battery is about to die, but I finished everything. I have all the electronics on here. Sorry if it's a little bit overexposed. Let me fix that right now. Uh, my camera battery is like literally dead. Uh, TLDR. Next time, tune in because we're going to fly, but it's basically ready. I don't have the LEDs hooked up because it's a superficial thing, but um, other than that, it's pretty much flight ready. I added some stabilizers here on the tail. I got all my electronics ready. We're good to go. I'm kind of concerned it's going to be too heavy, but my camera battery is going to die, so um, I'll talk to you guys later. Tune in next time. 